Are they surprised at all at the resilience of the Islamic State group that, or, or, or did they expect this to be so difficult? We heard uh, Admiral Curry saying, oh, he, this was never going to be whack-a-mole, but it feels like we kind of expected it to be. Right. I mean, there are uh, worries that this is going to put the U.S. on a hamster wheel, uh, that as long as ISIS keeps attacking and attacking, the U.S. will have to keep uh, beating it back with airstrikes in the absence of a, of a ground force, which is, for now, the most elusive part of this strategy. And do they have any sense of how long this training is going to take? I mean, you mentioned in Iraq there was a lot of training That's done, right. and it just melted away under the kind of passion that ISIL has. So why is it going to work now? And if it is going to work, how long is it going to take to build up these two necessary forces, as we just heard, to, to get going? And that's the question. It's, uh, you know, in Iraq, it was $17 billion worth of training for the security forces, another $8 billion for the police. And again, they melted. Now the projection is that they're going to reconstitute some of the best parts uh, of that and as well as build a Sunni National Guard type uh, entity to police Ambar. But again, all of these are in the recruitment phase right now. And meanwhile, the Iraqi um, government is being forced to rely on Iranian-backed Shia militias to fill the security vacuum. And so you have these strange situations where the U.S. military is providing air cover for Shia militias that only a few years ago were killing Americans.